Nun kann ich doch jetzt die Tänke. Ja, yeah, sometimes you have to change feet. Yeah. You can't to go away and get tired sometimes. Mm, yeah, I get that. Probably the only thing that's kind of the thing too. I'm the way to help. Roll over a fitness. Is that the equipment at the park? Am I using some of the equipment at the park? Yeah. It's called treadling when you put your foot on the pedal and you make the wheel go. No, it's called treadling. I don't know why it's called that. What'd you get today? Look. for your costume. Thank you. When I'm gonna make you a costume, it will look pretty good. There will be two more painted by us. Are you gonna put them all on me? You will look pretty cool. Thank you for making me look cool. Thank what am I wearing, Lucy? I want to look like me. My flower costume? My flower costume. Are you rolling the lint off that vehicle? Yeah, I'm rolling the lint off you. Good morning. It's what? It, what's today, Lucy? Do you know what today is? Tuesday. It's no, it's not. It's Thursday. <laughs> it's Thursday, December 9th. I skipped yesterday because I didn't feel like it. But we're back today. Uh, me and Lucy and River are all hanging out together at home today and I was just doing a little spinning and hopefully if I have time I can take you out to the garage today to show you my drum carter. Um, we'll see. Yeah. I'm spinning a bat right now that I made on my drum carter. It's a new drum carter and this is only the second bat that I've made and it's absolutely beautiful. I made it with some Rambouillet fiber and some sari silk and some bio nylon and some mohair and it's spinning up really beautifully i'm in love with it i can't wait to show you guys my drum carter uh i hope it can happen today we'll see why is jj wearing a shirt totally kicked over my whole glass of water. <laughs> Luckily the glass didn't break. I have a long history of breaking all my favorite glasses, but I spilled water all over the place. But it's okay, the bunny was helping me clean up. Luckily the extra cleaning task I signed for myself today through my new planner cleaning thing, is cleaning the baseboards. So at least I got to do that while I was behind the couch. Well, 
and take on to the big brain that I do. Oh. One of your toes is bigger than the other toe? Wow. Okay, I muscled squirrel out of my seat. <laughs> it's quiet time, and there were a couple things I really wanted to do during quiet time. <sighs> One of them was to take you in the garage and show you my drum carter, because I've been really excited to do that, but I just don't feel like it. It's cold in the garage, and I don't feel like carting a bat right now. So, we're not gonna do that. I also, like I said before, my uh, one of my, like, I can hear Lucy in a room. She's like being really loud. That's okay. The other thing I wanted to do, like I mentioned before, is clean my baseboards. So, but I don't feel like doing that either. I'm going to do that later. But that brings me to what I do feel like talking about. And well, another thing I want to do during quiet time is knit. I want to sit here and I want to watch podcasts. I want to watch Vlogmas videos and I want to knit. But... I keep being drawn back down into this rabbit hole world of planning and bullet journaling. Thank you so much to everybody who left me comments on whichever Vlogmas day that it was that I talked about my new planner. It was so helpful to hear all of you talk about your planners and like YouTube channels that you recommend and stuff like that. It was super helpful. And I also got a couple warnings about <laughs> about how uh, the world of planning is uh, is a total rabbit hole that you will lose yourself in. And I have. I've totally done that. So and now instead of like sitting here knitting and relaxing, I'm like, I'm like, Reese, I'm watching journaling videos pretty much. And I'm like, I don't know, I like want to work on this or something. It's weird. This is just like a new thing that I didn't think was going to be like a hobby. But it's happening, I think. But anyway, one of the things that I put down for the rest of this week was in my planner, which uh, I've linked to it up in the cards, my last Vlogmas video that I talked about my planner in case you missed it and you want to know more what I'm talking about, but I have a Hope in Each Two Weeks planner and I just started using it last week and I'm kind of obsessed. So I showed you some of my stickers in that video. And I've gone ahead and put down some of these cleaning stickers. I thought I'd try one sticker for every day. And they just have like four check boxes on them with four like little tasks to do every day. One of them is just a chore. So for that, I've written down one random cleaning thing I want to do every day. And for today's, I put down clean the baseboards, which just means I'll go through with a rag and wipe them all down. So... I haven't done that yet, but I just wanted to talk about my journal because I have <laughs> I have one more thing I wanted to share with you. So I think I talked about in that video about the paper. So the paper for the Hobonichi Weeks, it's called Tomo River Paper, and it's like really nice paper. It's really thin and really nice, but... I have found so far that when I just went in to write on it, like all willy nilly, like, you know, coming in hot, like I didn't know what I was doing, it like really, it didn't, the pen didn't bleed, but it really showed up on the other side, which I didn't like. Like, oh my goodness, stickers everywhere. So I kind of had to figure out what to do about that. Um, the Hobonichi that I bought, I bought them, I bought it from the company and they did send me a pen but it's a ballpoint pen and I found that when I wrote with it, it like, it just really pressed through to the other side. So when I was on the next page over, I could really see my writing through it and I wasn't liking that. So I was trying to experiment with different pens. I have 
let me show you. This wasn't supposed to be like a pen video, but okay. So this is the pen that my planner came with from Hobonichi. It's a multi-pen and it says Hobonichi Teco 2022 on it and it's got black, blue, and red ink. And it's really cute. It's like the seafoam green and I was really excited to use it and it was going to be like my planner pen, but I just don't like how the ballpoint of this really writes in my planner. So I tried this. This is a Dr. Grip 4-in-1 pen and it's just another multi-pen. It's got the same, I think the same colors, maybe one more. It's got black, blue, green, and red, and it's also got a pencil, like a mechanical pencil, which I really like. It's also got an eraser up here, but that's totally useless because that's been gone for a long time. I used, I went through that like fast. Anyway, this is the pen that I bought for myself when I was still working at my office. I worked at a dental office. I was a receptionist and, uh, <laughs> Pens are like a whole thing. Everybody at that office had like a pen they preferred and there's like office pens, but I hated them. And the way that I worked, we didn't, we were kind of digital, but not super digital. And so we still did a lot of writing at my job. And the collection of pens that you need at my job were a black pen, a blue pen, a red pen, and a red pencil and a regular pencil. And so every day for 10 years, I would have one of each of those things lined up all nice and neat, <laughs> ready to grab and use and put back when I was done. They were constantly getting stolen though. Somebody like a, like a dental assistant or something would just come up next to me, take my pen, start using it, and then like accidentally walk away with it. And it was so annoying. I don't know why I'm telling you this. But eventually I decided I wanted to try using a multi-pen because I was just sick of having like it was actually during COVID, after we reopened from being closed because of COVID for like a month, um, I didn't want to use the office pens anymore. So I bought my own pen. I got a multi-pen so that I just had one pen and I didn't have to worry about it. And uh, I just learned how to not use a red pencil because it's the only thing this is missing. Anyway, that's a huge backstory. I don't know why I told you all that, but this is, <laughs> this is my pen that I decided to try next in here and it's been working pretty good i just have to write kind of lightly with the black ink and then i kind of just decided i would just go with pencil because that was showing through on the other side the least oh, i also tried this pen this is i have like these gel pens in a few different colors and i was using these mostly using these in my old planner that had like thicker paper and so I immediately went with this when I first got this journal and this does not work. It like completely bleeds through to the other side. So these are out, which is a bummer because I love these pens. If you've ever ordered anything from me, I've probably written in one of these pens somewhere on your order or your uh, order sheet or whatever. And then I remembered that I have like a whole collection of pens and stuff in storage in the garage from back when I used to be really into stationery and drawing and writing letters and stuff like that. And I have a whole collection of these Micron pens. They're Sakura, okay wait, they're Pi Sakura Pigma Micron pens. They're Japanese pens. And they're like line drawing pens. At least that's what I knew them from, from what, the whole collection that I used to have, that I still have, was from drawing. I would do line drawings with these. And so the whole collection consists of different sizes of tip. So this is an 01, so it's pretty skinny, but there's also an 005, which is even skinnier. And then an 03 and an 05, which get fatter and fatter. And then I also have a brush pen. And I, so I went out and I found all of these in the garage and I tried them in here. This is my little, my little uh, swatch section. And they work so good. I don't know why I'm faking you through all this. Because it's Vlogmas, and so you're here to see all my madness every day. Anyway. So this is the winner. This is the 01 size Micron pen. And it's really nice black ink. And it's, it writes, see, my problem with the pencil in here is that it was kind of light and I wanted something like bold and dark, but I didn't, this is it, this is it. This is nice and it's bold and it's dark and it's easy to write with and it doesn't show through on the other side. And I'm very happy.
And then I just started watching some of your video recommendations from that last comment section. And I started watching Pick Up Limes, which is typically, at least I know, or as a food channel, somebody recommended her bullet journaling video. So I'm watching that right now and she uses this pen and I was like, haha, I found it. Anyway, that's where my mind's at right now. I've been researching pens for the last day and a half. And luckily, I just had the pen already that ended up being my perfect pen. Also, thank you to the person who told me that in their planner, they like to write down not only what book they're reading at the time, but what knitting projects they're working on. So I've added that. I've got the book I'm reading. This is this week. I've got the book I'm reading here and the pattern, like the main knitting pattern I'm working on here. And I've got a little to-do list, which is finished. By the way, I've mailed out all the Patreon yarn, so if you're one of my patrons, you're probably getting your yarn soon. I've mailed out um, a project bag prize for the Halloween make-along winner. Sorry that took so long, but I did it. It's out. And I have uh, finished washing all of the knitwear from my D-stash, so that's just drying. I'm having fun with this. I'm having fun with it, but it's taking up too much of my time. Like. This takes up time. It's like a thing. It's like it's like another hobby. Like if you're doing it the way that I'm kind of getting into it, it's like a whole nother hobby. And like I don't have time for that shit. I don't have time for another hobby. Uh, this is definitely taking up knitting time. And I'm not happy about that. But when it comes down to it and I'm sitting here during my, my half hour of me time, I like go to get my knitting project back. Like I've got it right here. I got it out. And then I just saw this staring at me from over there and I was like, oh, I did one of the things on my list. Let me check it off. And then I like go down a whole rabbit hole. Once I open it up, there's no putting it down. Okay. That's it. Um, I've been spinning my bat, which I haven't had time to do lately, but I made some time for it this morning. Lucy loves to help me spin which is really nice because if I if it's just me and her rivers napping and I try to like knit or something, she's like stop knitting and hang out with me and so you know but if I'm spinning she gets really interested and she like wants to help and she wants to just like watch it which is really nice it's like the only way I can do any fun crafting stuff with my kids around <laughs> so I got to do some spinning today and that was really nice and maybe I'll do a little more of that later too I don't know we'll see I'm probably just gonna say goodbye now because it's one of these crazy days where both kids are home and there's like not a lot of time to do anything other than chase them and keep them content. You know what I mean? Okay. Tonight for dinner is chicken sandwiches. Anything else? Squirrel, you got anything to add? She doesn't, she doesn't care. Uh, update on the Christmas lights. Colin was not able to get our Christmas lights to work at all. So we've ordered another set on Amazon and they'll be here by this weekend. So we'll be putting up our Christmas lights again this weekend. I can't remember if I told you that yet or not. If I have, oh well. And we're also going to go to get our tree this weekend, so that's going to be a really exciting weekend. When we get our tree, that's officially when we decorate, so all the fall stuff will come down. We'll put up our tree and all of our Christmas decorations, and I'm excited. Then it's officially going to be Christmassy around here. Then I'm officially going to put Christmas music in this vlog. Boom. Okay. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate you joining me in my boring everyday life for a month. I know there are a lot of Vlogmas videos that come out in the month of December, so the fact that you've chosen to spend a little bit of time some of your December days with me here in my boring kid-filled house, it means a lot and it, you know, it makes me happy. So thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm ending this like a podcast. If you like the video, please feel free to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. I really love hearing from you. Okay. And...